Welcome back to the Top Solid Modeling tutorial. This is step seven. In this step, you're going to learn how to add a tapped hole to your design. This is done with the drilling command that you learned a few steps ago. However, in this case, there's more options to know about, such as choosing the right standard associated with the style of tapping that you want to put in. We're going to go over all of this and more in this tutorial. Here we go. OK, step seven is next. Let's see what we have to do. So I'll go down another page, and it looks like here we're putting in 832 tapped hole. No big deal. That's just another simple drilling inside a top solid. Here's how it works. Again, I'm going to use the contextual command. Right click, drilling. You could, of course, chose this up here. From here, I'm going to go to the tapping option. When I do this, it'll load my tapping options, and you can start by choosing the standard. In this case, it is an inch ISO standard. So we went to inch ISO. Here I'm going to choose the type of tapped hole it is. In this case it's an 832, so I'm going to find my UNC 832. I'm going to turn off complete tapping. I'm going to say the depth of this is going to be 3 16 I'm going to go to my hole here, set my hole to blind because that's what the print calls for, and I'm going to uncheck my depth command. This way it will go to automatically the proper depth following the ANSI standard for overlengths. Of course you can type in your own depth as you want here also. Once I have everything set the way I want, I'm just going to validate and like that I've added the tapped hole.